Another fiery crash along I-435 in Johnson County today. The driver of this semi-truck injured after he crashed into the barrier wall. This is just one of several crashes in that stretch of 435 between Metcalf and 69 Highway since this construction project began back in April. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan looked into these problems that we are seeing in that area. So, Alyssa, what's going on here? What did you find out today? Well, I spoke with the Kansas Department of Transportation, and they say they are constantly evaluating these construction areas. And they also say that since noted, they note most crashes in construction areas are due to drivers being distracted or speeding. Now, Overland Park police tell us that was not the case in this crash. They say the driver of the semi truck was may have crashed due to a medical issue. A traffic camera in Overland Park captured the moment the semi truck crashed, hitting the median where the road splits from I-435 to Highway 69. The truck immediately caught fire. We heard this big bang and then we all turned around and the entire like highway was just lit in flames. Erin DeWeese heard the crash while she was at work. I mean, it was at least around 100 feet like of the highway was just up in flames to where people couldn't even pass. She called 911 then took video. I think somebody's in there. Somebody was. The driver was trapped inside. There was at least 10 people that stopped and just jumped out of their cars and went running towards this like vehicle. Overland Park police say the driver was rescued by those good Samaritans and only suffered minor injuries. Right now we're, he has a uh, minor injury, but we want to check him out just to make sure that he's okay. Something like this, it's a bad accident. So we're just uh, concerned for his welfare. This is the third fiery semi-truck crash on this stretch of 435 in just five weeks. Only minor injuries were reported in one. A man involved in the other crash passed away from his injuries last weekend. KDOT says they're evaluating this construction zone, but not necessarily because of these crashes. We are looking at this area and we're going, is there something that needs to change? And, and we're determining right now whether something needs to change. And KDOT says that semi-truck driver actually hit the attenuator, a large piece of metal they put on medians to absorb if a driver crashes. It will absorb the impact. So tomorrow they will be replacing that, which is why westbound I-435 will be closed until about 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Reporting in Overland Park, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.